Hey everyone, welcome back to our newscast for a Friday and a beautiful day across the interior. Again, lots of uh, warm temperatures. You just saw them a little while ago, 40s, low 40s everybody, everywhere you look just about. And we're looking at the temperatures to slowly cool down for the weekend. In fact, maybe some snow in the forecast for Sunday. We'll tell you about that in just a little bit. Beautiful photograph tonight. This one called a brilliant sunset for obvious reasons. Look at the colors, the reds, the blues, the oranges. Uh, Angie Ackerman was able to capture that one. And as always, if you have a photograph to share with us, by all means, send it to photos at ktvf11.com. Here's your numbers. A normal high 36 today's high 43 normal low 10 last night got down to 13 degrees or up to 13 degrees for the overnight low record high 56 1940 30 below in 1911 over 14 hours a day like today 14 hours and five minutes to be exact a gain of seven minutes from yesterday we've been watching that satellite picture more and more clouds moving in the picture every day and it's getting a little more ominous now we have a lot of activity moving on down over the south look like it might be getting some snow, uh, snow or rain showers down the anchorage bowl it is raining over southeast alaska and more clouds coming in from the northwest so the high pressure that was giving us the nice weather is just kind of collapsing allowing all that weather to come in now as far as what's going on across the map today you can see cloudy skies over southeast alaska a little rain shower activity around Kodiak, clouds up and down the west coast and the north slope looking at partly cloudy skies at Barrow and still sunshine at uh, Fort Yukon and 21 degrees. Lower 48 weather, again more rain falling across the Pacific Northwest, sunshine over the southwest, more thunderstorms rumbling across the deep south and the bayou region and over the northeast mainly partly cloudy skies on our satellite and radar there's the storm system that brought all the heavy snow and the strong powerful thunderstorms to the uh, midwest and central plains yesterday moving rapidly off to the east that's good news another system trying to work its way in across the rockies nothing really heavy expected with this system overall the uh, northeast today there are lots of rain all over the uh, the uh, Pennsylvania area into New York and around Washington DC severe weather down to the south and the overall picture again for early next week the jet stream takes a big dive down to the south when that happens you get a lot of severe weather and we're looking at that to once again break out especially to the east of the uh, jet stream while over to the north it looks like mainly warm temperatures and clear skies back to Alaska for tomorrow cloudy skies at Barrow sunshine in Nome and some snow showers at Fort Yukon here in the interior, looking at clouds, maybe some flurries over the afternoon hours in the Healy area. Otherwise, the temperature is continuing mild. Over southeast Alaska, it looks like chance of rain for Juneau and Ketchikan. Well, over to the southwest, it looks like rain and snow at Cold Bay and Kodiak. Some snow showers in Bethel. And if you head on down to the Anchorage Bowl, well, it's going to get a little sloppy there, too. Flurries in Anchorage, rain and snow for Homer and Valdez. Okay, so here's your forecast for the remainder of the night. Not too bad, 15 degrees, increasing clouds, mild, light winds. Tomorrow's forecast, this is where it starts to go downhill. Cloudy, but it's going to be a great day for kids, for, uh, or much for kids' sake to tomorrow out at the uh, Pioneer Park area. 36 degrees, the, the bad weather won't come in until tomorrow night. And then by Sunday, it looks like a possibility of some snow in the forecast. And again on Monday, and then temperatures just kind of leveling off around 30 degrees for the daytime highs. And overnight lows will also cool down to around 5 degrees. But the precipitation will be mainly Sunday and Monday. After that, we're just going to kind of look at uh, temperatures once again. Very cool, much cooler than we have had for the last two weeks, it seems like.